So what is the lambda max? The wavelength on x-axis where maximum absorption on the y-axis is called lambda max. And we know around 1 lakh organic compounds are there in the nature. 1 lakh organic compound having their lambda max values. The specific lambda max values. So what is lambda max? Lambda max value is characteristic and is a qualitative aspect. Because of two properties which are related to lambda max, so it's widely used in the nature. So lambda max is a unique cube and characteristic is a qualitative aspect. Why I am specifically saying qualitative aspect? We know in analysis there are two terms. One is qualitative, another one is quantitative. Qualitative is used for identification purpose, whereas quantitative is used for measurement purpose, measure the quantity. Here, lambda max used for qualitative purpose. Qualitative means it used for identification. Because of identification, because of qualitative purpose, we can compare the unknown compound lambda max with the known compound. So, always lambda max value used as qualitative only, but not used as quantitative purpose. Because of that, it's a characteristic and qualitative aspect. Get it one. Okay, so how can we confirm the compound? For example, if A, B, C, three different compounds are there. A, A having 100 lambda max, B having 200 lambda max, 3 having some 300 lambda max. And I have some unknown compound is there. Okay, I kept under UV visible instrument, it having some lambda max value. That lambda max value 102, 101, like that. So, whatever the value which is close to A, B, C, so that is exact compound of that particular A or it may be a it may be a derivative of that particular A compound. Either addition or deletion of some methyl, some profile like that group, it will give nearer lambda max value based on the nature of the bonding or non-bonding electrons in that example. Okay, so that is the reason lambda max is a qualitative characteristic, it will not change by applying any other in factors. Other factors may influence. So this is important one. What is the important one? For example, if lambda max value will changes on the external factor, there is no utility, there is no value of, there is no significance of lambda max. What is the significance of lambda max? The significance is upon addition of external factors, there is no changes in the lambda max. The lambda max value is remain constant in any condition. If it is changes, there is no aspect to qualitative. The qualitative aspect in turn, in turn, if you are if you are, if you are adding external factor, there are no changes in the constant lambda max value. Right. For example, this is 5 microgram per ml duct solution. You just observe 5 microgram paracetamol, I just adding in one ml of the sample. So this is the corresponding absorption curve. And next one is, this is the corresponding absorption curve of 10 microgram of paracetamol with one ml sample. And the next one is, 15 microgram per ml my paracetamol with one ml sample. So this is the corresponding absorption value. Okay, 5 microgram, 10 microgram, 15 microgram. There is drug con concentration changes, but there is no change in drug. Fif 5 is paracetamol, 5, 5 microgram is the paracetamol, in the 10 also paracetamol is there, in the 15 also paracetamol. Drug is remain same, but the change is, changes in the concentration, 5, 5 microgram, 10 microgram, 15 microgram. So what are the changes here? Here changes is, this one is 100%, next one is just up there, 110%, and this one is 120%. What does this mean? Changes in the concentration from 5 to 15, 20 like the changes in the intensity of absorbance on the y-axis. First one is 100%, second one is 110, third one is 120, like that. So changes concentration, changes on the intensity of absorption. But now you look for, look into x-axis, is there any changes on the x-axis? There is no changes in the x-axis. That's why, that's why the lambda max is always used as qualitative. By, by addition of external factor, by increasing the concentration, decreasing the concentration, there will be no influence on the lambda max, may be influence on the intensity of absorption. Because of this reason, it is a characteristic and qualitative aspect. Right. So now we'll see. So this one is clear. So simply, so what is the current here? Concentration in terms depends on intensity of absorption. The concentration in, is not depends on simply lambda max. Okay, inversely means there is no there is no correlation between the concentration and the lambda mass, but there is a correlation between concentration and intensity of absorption. The intensity of absorbance changes based on the concentration of the drug sample where to be the concentration of the drug sample to be analyzed. 
But here, there is no changes in the lambda mass while changing the concentration of the sample, either increasing the concentration or increasing the dilution of the same sample. 